There's some stuff here, but we might be gone. I have I literally have the stream in front of me for a reason. Okay. That's fine. I don't know why you don't believe uh, me. There's an ad playing, so it's working. There's an ad playing. Well, shit. Good for ad. Uh, hi, Internet. Yo. So where's there's my hand. It's always hard to get it in the print. Uh, I'm Dustin. I'm Larry. Oh, I look for a cough button. <coughs> And we're going to mess with more video games tonight, for at least a little while. Uh, I've got fresh notepad doc. Um, I think, oh. I mean, I see us. So. Okay. I think among the things we're going to mess with is we're going to at least start refactoring some of the code and some of the enemies um, to just make that stuff more uniform across all of them. Uh, and to extend it a little bit so that it'll tie in hopefully a little better with um, some of the changes we're making to Marta, the player character, bang, bang. to uh, let different costumes on her change different abilities that she has throughout the game to affect like global level stuff like uh, damage done to or taken from enemies or like items they might drop when they get defeated or any of that nonsense. So. Uh, let's go, let's go with, uh, you don't like tabs? Huh? Do you not like tabs? You can tab in Notepad. Uh, it's less like, I guess the, it's, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'll start tabbing. <laughs> tab Excuse is just me. a T-pose on a slant. <laughs> uh, and I call it italicized. So, with that in mind... You don't want to save that just in case the PC crashes? I did. I saved it. Did you? I hit Control S. Does that make you feel better? <laughs> anyway, uh, okay, so starting with, um, and you can kind of help me because we got, what's the name of the goops? Enemy. The script, no, which is like oh, enemy. the whole object. Yeah, yeah. So they have this enemy controller. That's what I thought you were looking for. Um, but then currently the other enemies do not, right? They're all slightly different. The giant goops, I think, also do. Yeah, they. I mean, they function exactly, literally exactly They're the just same. Like They're just big. Scale is larger or whatever. Damn yeah. big. Um, but things like the turret. Is it goop turrets? Probably. Mm -hmm. No, it's not a word. I mean, if you just go into enemies, there's a thing literally right there that says enemies. Yeah, but then I can type it. <laughs> but it's literally um, at the top. So, yeah, see, they operate on this. I'm aware of what I've done. Uh, and then we go on to the walls or the... Sure, it's the right the goop wall. It was literally... Right. Okay. You have all those open. Why did you do that? I had, didn't have them open until I clicked them all. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to ultimately, and I'm going to actually have you take some notes over there too if you oh want, dear. or I can take them over here as well, um, at least for the parts of these scripts that are public, because ideally I want to fold all these into, I want to fold almost everything about all these scripts into like a series of inherited classes, I'm aware of and, then, how you operate. and then at the top level, any th anywhere where they are truly divergently different, like where they possess an ability that none of the other enemies possess. Uh, we'll leave that in probably these original scripts uh, that will inherit the other ones that we're about to either change or build out or whatever. Um, 
So, at least for the walls, they have, uh, is that a range point, probably? Oh, range percent. Range, I think. Uh, random, a random percent tracker. Okay, an animator. You have active and idle, uh, which I basically I just want to see what how many of these uh, exist on all the scripts. And for whatever reason, I'm going to do that in here. Interesting that they don't drop. Um, is that intentional or is that just an oversight that they don't drop? Isn't there a third kind of thing that things can drop? It's the kind of thing that says has alt weapon. So I'm looking, you literally have the script right there. Oh, they don't drop shield. Maybe that was just because I thought we did change that at some point. So then maybe they just didn't get updated. To uh. Okay, well. In any case. Um, Let's look over here, and I think I created even a couple other empty scripts already mm -hmm. that are in here. Uh, let's start with this one, I guess. Like I get, I get liking having a separate class for every little tiny minute thing, but why wouldn't you just make a like base level thing that is just the dropping the hell? Like, why wouldn't you? I mean, if you prefer, I can do that. Like, I'm not super... I, I just, I want to know what the thought process is for making, like, a single function I just want, inside of this. I mean, it'll be a little more than that, but I, I like having... Ugh. I like opening a file no. and having it contain like one to two hundred lines of code. That's my favorite thing in the world. Because no. <laughs> uh, you can read almost the whole thing just by staring at it in that one file that's open. You do realize how much more <laughs> cluttered Cucumber is than down the drain. <laughs> in terms of number of files, sure. But in terms of comprehending the total contents of a single file, I have uh, gone it's not great. Hey, but man, I comment a lot of stuff. No, you're fine. All right. Well, then I'll see. No, you. no. You're uh, piloting. <laughs> No, it's fine. Um, we can. It just—it seems like I said. This isn't. It uh, seems excessive. Let's worry about that right now. Like. Well, do you want me to smush pretty much everything into one base script as much as we can? Doesn't or? matter. Just do whatever you want. Because <laughs> I'll care. do it. I don't care. Uh, I don't care. I want to at least make it understandable, as understandable for you as possible, and as approachable. So if you prefer it that way, we can we can do it. That I mean, this way. is just—it just seems messy. <laughs> it's different. It's excessive, like I said. <laughs> Anyway, um, monstrous even. Because all these are brand new, right? I think. Yeah, I don't know. Now that, that one existed, so I'm not sure which things to derive from that. Maybe all of them right now, or maybe none of them. Uh, I guess we'll find that out too. But this is a pre-existing file. These two are the ones I made. Oh. Look what you've done. Um. Shouldn't forget about the chaser enemy though. That thing technically works or worked at one point. What do you mean? And if you go back up to enemy scripts, there's a whole folder that says chaser enemy. That guy is in like the third level type that might technically still be broken as a whole, but those enemies worked. Okay. Well, we'll get back to that. Uh -oh. We'll have to put a pin in that. Let's... I mean, we need that level to work before we do anything else. So. I still don't know what's wrong with it. It's probably going to be even more messed up with all the changes you've done um, to the game. It's like, like the core engine or whatever behind it as a whole. There. Um, all right, well, we'll table that for now. Uh, concentrate on the other ones that we have that already exist. So... Um, and quite honestly, I guess I'll just stick with these two. I won't. I won't make any more. Uh, but um, I guess I'll stick with these two for now, as is. Uh, Monstrous. I, I will not saw, see ground there. Uh -oh. I saw an example of code that had the brackets right aligned. 
I don't even know what that means. It was the, it, it was out. it was meant as a joke. Like this was it was a joke example, but I just like my skin crawled when I saw it <laughs> and I just felt excessively dirty. Like everything okay. else so if, word picture, everything else still left a line. It's just the brackets are in a mess Over on the here. right hand side of the screen. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can find that. Triggered. Uh, oh. I'm guessing that was the point. But. Oh yes, it was. It was just kind of like, oh, like I don't care about what your. I think it was. They even called it like, um, mm -hmm. like your bracket orientation is or whatever. But it's just, just know that this is wrong. And I was just like, oh, disgusting. this a little differently than uh, uh, where are you there it is okay so on this other screen over here let's see where this opens up all right I've just got I'll just drag it over here for a hot second uh, it's not why I exit just got paint.net open over here uh, <laughs> look at that just oh that's pretty trolly um, uh. What are you doing? I'm just gonna to save you the trouble of typing this stuff out. I thought I was taking notes for a reason. I was ready, and then you're just like, nah. Are you? Do you want to? I didn't want to interrupt you from the chat and messing with that stuff. Oh, yes, the chat of me, you know. That's fine. It's riveting. All right, well, then, if you it's want to just. Pop mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. You want to write this stuff down, then. Mm -hmm. Or at least here, I'll, give you, I'll let you write down some of the other ones, now, since I've got this one already screenshotted up. Uh, so goop enemy and goop enemy and giant goop enemy will be identical because they're all the same script. So I'm not gonna worry about that. Uh, do you want to type this out or like I said, I can just still screenshot them. It's fine. What do you want? What do you, I don't know what I'm even. Here, don't worry about it. I'll just, just do this because I just want it all in front of me. Um. this show you when I'm done drag it back over to the window and the other big one is the turret same deal So we've got these over here, uh, but basically now we can see um, all the different uh, publicly exposed things that all of these have. So obviously our final collective script is going to need to have all of them uh, if we want everything to work exactly the same as it is right now, which is our initial goal. And then we'll work backwards from there and maybe redesign some of it at some point. But um, for right now, it's as good a starting point as any. So. I have, this is just a side note. I have spent a lot of time trying to find a free, like, word or text editor that does spell check. Like, actually does it. Uh, which is a very hard thing to find, let me tell you. I you can download. Um, I've tried, like, Open Office and, what is the other one I have in here? Free something or other. Um, LibreOffice. Mm -hmm. Those don't actually work. The spell check just doesn't work. I could never get it to function. Notepad plus plus does, which yeah. is incredible. Uh -huh. Like I, I didn't. You, I bet you could download even more robust versions of that. I don't know but even just plus. just like a basic, just a basic one, because I'm not made of money. I can't put Microsoft Word on every single PC I own. But just I could. I tested it just now with like a file, and it worked. Like it was highlighting words that were wrong. So magic. Anyway, sorry. Okay, I'm double checking. Sorry, I'm double checking on these two. 
So these all already inherit from enemy percent base. So let's go See? Ahead and look at that. Look at me. I'm doing it. Um, Why don't you just bottom one right now? That will be just fine. See? Do you see that? I probably did that. Probably. I mean, you definitely did. If you didn't, it was me. It wasn't me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Fairly confident. Um, so now we've got that. And now, theoretically... If Panic. We, got it. Uh, since these don't actually do anything, I grab this sucker here. And just drop this here. It should just be identical for right now. Everything breaks. Alright, it's a good sign. Let's go ahead and do the same thing on all these, and then we'll go from there. Sorry, I'm so pretty excited about that notepad, notepad plus plus discovery. <laughs> you have no idea how helpful that is to me. Okay. Um, yeah, I use notepad plus plus a lot too. Why I still occasionally use Notepad for doing the stuff like I did here with like? Oh yeah, I use. I don't know why I do that. I use Notepad a lot. Do. The uh, well, that's just because I, I write in WordPad and WordPad doesn't have a spell check, which is why I went to something like OpenOffice or LibreOffice, and they claim to have it, but when I went to use it, it just said done, when it clearly wasn't done. Actually, we should go ahead and. and Trying to Google around for any kind of solution. They're like, you have to, like, I went through and did, like, the actual, like, the steps they were saying to make it work, and it just never worked. It never actually, like, opened or whatever. Let's just have this open, too, just so we have everything right now, just in case we need it. I doubt we will, but... Okay. So, anyway, going back over to here. Um... Look at all of that commenting. Look at all of it. Uh, rotation. Please don't mess with these. Health. I'm wondering where the um. What? Where the what? Use your words. The percent tracker is. Is it like? It's lower literally in, there? in that script. The whole thing is in the percent base script. Wait, we, I mean, it's not talking about the, literally the publicly exposed variable. Wouldn't it be in there? Go over to it. Oh, you're right, it would be. That's yeah. why I can't see it in this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Um, it's how inheritance works, I think. No, you're right. Just, <laughs> like I said, coming in this with it being halfway complete. All right, so we're going to... Excuse me um, for doing half the work. Right? No, 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 you're fine. <laughs> Um, heck in heck. Hmm. All right, I am going to get rid of this one. I guess I'll re we'll rename it to something slightly different. Uh, so we do have at least one more catch all type. Again, this is all just for like clarity's sake, uh, at least ideally. Um, thing that I learned today while editing the podcast is that in a recent paint.net update which you don't have they changed all the icons but they look slightly different it's throwing That's me for a loop they're a little more stylized I mean they look nice but it was just, I was not expecting it when I opened it to Mess with the podcast, and it threw me for a loop a second ago when I opened it again. To totally, absolutely help you by drawing a goop. Good. 
it, not freaking out. Okay. Panic. Start by taking some of this stuff. These robots are tiny. It's hard to hit my finger. Let's see. Those don't actually persist across all of them. In that case, maybe I'll leave those be. What? Uh, the speed ones. Um, no, because some of them don't move. Like the walls. I mean, technically, the only ones that move is the normal goops. The basic enemies, the the goop enemies don't have an animator, so that, that just seems weird to me. Hmm? Interesting. Not, like, not a publicly exposed one, at least. Why would it need a publicly exposed animator? I think you're talking about the have animators. They're literally all right there. Animator, animator, animator. Where's the animator in here? I mean, it might not be public, but they're all like animator, animator, animator. Okay, I wonder why the other ones are public. I don't know. I could have just been looking to make sure that they were there. Interesting. All right. Uh, you're asking me. To remember why I did something probably stupid months and or years ago. It's a lofty thing. This goop looks terrible. We're just Okay. file for my own. Okay, so you just those.
there's weird it's distance. What? Um. I guess the walls don't use distance from player, but the other two do. Or see, it's got those, but they're private, not public for the walls. Again, I think the public is just for me to see them in the game and change them as I need be. The enemy controller and turret scripts are the among some of the oldest in this entire game because those are very old enemies. You're saying you made them so you could change them in the editor for testing purposes? Yes. Okay. Because um, I don't think anything really, again, probably with the public, with the damage cooldown, that was probably just for like, oh, I want to test this without having to go in and okay. rebuild things. Because at one point they were probably, they probably didn't even have a value. I might have gone in and like set it later since I was more satisfied with it. There is a very good chance that most of the stuff is public because it was easier for me to see it on the fly. I was going to say the wall enemy definitely has distance to player. They all do because it makes them pop up. Okay. Well, in that case, at least for right the now. The only thing uh, that is potentially different. Um, between them is that the walls is a much farther distance because you never see him small. Mm -hmm. But he does exist small. That's fine. We can even still have them have different values. I'm just going to... Um, uh, the enemy controller here. Try this. I don't usually like to set this stuff in the, the declarations anyway. I'm not sure if it, there's one of those is better than the other or not. I usually set this stuff in like the start or whatever. Um, but you hate the start function. I wonder if you had least favorite things. So we do that. I'm gonna do. So bad. But I love him despite his flaws. God, it's awful. See how close I can get the colors off the hand. the drops we can move all those in. Let's take the ones from enemy controller because put them in here. Do you know what the, uh, I guess those are all maybe private? What? Oh no, that one's public. 
Um, what the has alt weapon variable means for the enemies. That allow that will turn on whether or not they drop ammo. If they don't, they won't. Uh, if you don't have a weapon at all, they just won't okay. drop it. Uh, well then, yeah, I'm gonna move. Okay. Move all those into this space. A little bit of the dropping scripts. There we go. That would make sense. Uh, I. I'm gonna make them protected. Probably not public, because I think the way we'll work it, we won't need to do that. You just have to have a function that sets that. Yeah, I think we'll. Holy cow! Make that work. I have been extremely, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Spoiled by functionality in Clip Studio Paint as opposed <laughs> to Paint.net. Like, holy crap. I mean, can you put that on there too? On what? your tablet? Clip oh, Studio? it's on here. I have oh, two okay. licenses for it. Well, then just use that. <laughs> but it's easier to draw with my finger <laughs> okay. in Paint.net. Fair enough. But... Boy, howdy, those blends, um, man, let me tell you. That's rough over here. What is that? Oh, it's, okay, that's just what that thing looks like now. Though my, I'm still literally just sticking around over here. Being helpful when I can be. But generally just being a menace. That is not the tool I thought it was. It's a little pinker, I think. Did you say it just, his damage is probably the same, too? There's one instance this? of where it is public, and the other two, I think it's private. Probably. Okay. I'm going to put that into the... The vast majority of these variables don't have a uh, outward-facing presence. Because that's a weird push-pull with Unity in general, where there's, um, like, I absolutely get why you would do that. And there's even other cases where I've done it, or, uh, like, the fact that it's, it is very intuitive that the fact that making that stuff public exposes it, is it into the editor that way for editing, but it's, um, it's a double-edged sword of then those menus fill up a bunch, and then, and then it's accessible to any other script if you accidentally ended up typing the change into it somehow, somewhere. Uh, it is one of the... I still like Unity a lot, but it is one of the small double-edged swords to its uh, like ease of use. Uh, it can get you into some bad habits that you lean into quite hard, myself included. Like I said, most of these scripts have not been touched in a very long time. You can't just that smudge just as I can't use it. I can't look at it anymore. Smudge tool used to be my life, and now I hate everything about it. Good. Come on. All right. Um, the other ones aren't going to have necessarily. They probably all have the distance, though. What is the question? Now that I'm just mumbling to myself about what scripts have which shared variables, they do all have a distance to player. Uh, And the wall also has a distance range. Do you know what the difference is, or does that just like set the public? Not public. Public. I'd have to look more at that script in particular, which I could do if I was actually helping. Come back somewhere. Same thing with distance to player, though, probably. It was just public for editing purposes, most oh, likely. Oh, yeah, the pub publicity, I guess is the way you can say that. viewing.
Oh, okay, so that's... Alright, that one I guess I'll just make public, since that clearly has... It was actually used by something. So, um, looking down here, the only thing I can see the distance to player thing being used as, and the uh, distance range and distance to player in the wall enemy is for waking it up. Um, because like I said, it's got a wider range. Like the other guys just wake up when the player's inside of that instance. Whereas this one, it's just like turning it idle on and off slightly differently. I'm honestly not sure how that Well, that one, that's fine. That's private, it can stay. Uh, could stay in that script. They all have. Uh, that's different. They all have a target, which is presumably just found by one of those global searches, I would assume. Target is just the player. I oh, see, so that one has a. So the turret has a distance range also. But that just gets set somewhere else. Okay. Well, it has distance range and. Okay, so the, the distance. Army does not. Okay, that's The fine. distance range, because uh, the, <coughs> well, the wall has two distance and attack. It'll wake up at a certain, like, nearness to the player, and then it will start attacking at a different one. Mm -hmm. So that's what that is. And then the is in a room essentially just makes those ranges longer, so it'll attack from farther away. Boom, boom, boom.
it looks like the only difference between these animators too is that you set them different ways. Uh, which I'm just going to make them all uniform. It doesn't really matter which one. Although that one's got both. So the turret has like it's public and it's set by a script. The wall test is not public, I think. Or it is public. And it's in no, are they all set by a script? They have to be. No, because you could just drag it over outright from the editor if you wanted to, as long as it's public. But this one's not public. I'm just not sure if there's a reason they're different. Let's just try it and see what happens. Because uh, it'll get mad at me if I if that was actually being referenced by something else. Okay, those are, oh, there it goes. Okay, so I think we might be all right. Let's build that. Oh no, the shooting script uses it. On the turret specifically. Do you know what this is attached to? Is this like on the turret itself as well? Yeah, it was right. Uh, no, it was right. I guess I'd have to drag it in the editor if I want to see. Yeah, see. There we go, the barrel end. I believe that has something to do with the way an object is rotated. I think that's why it's on a separate thing. Okay, but it has access to the... So we can even do the... Um, script and no longer has access to the animator so let's just do uh, oh because you're referencing it from the script itself okay in that case we can find out uh, looks like that's all that does right now is it just references the animator through that script so instead of doing that let's change this a tiny bit let's just go Fuck you. What are you doing over there, Lorraine? Just out of curiosity. I told you. So we should have better... Drawing dumb pictures. Uh, Is there something you need from me? Oh, never mind. It does get that. Okay. That's going to be... What up? No, I was just going to... What was on your mind in general? Since I'm being really boring over here, just typing and kind of like mumbling to myself. <laughs> I mean, this is uh, a coding stream. Uh, no, nah, you're right. It's <laughs> just uh. So we do need those. So in that case, I'm just gonna yeah, I'll make this additive and take that original if here. If the script is protected, can't uh, its inheritors? access it 
Yeah, protected is everything that that inherits that script can. So why not make uh, the animator protected or whatever, and then just have the um, the shooting one inherit the enemy one. Um. Because the shooting script can't, we don't want the shooting this script. Presumably, like we could maybe redesign it that way, but we don't, presumably don't want this shooting script to do all the things that a various like that an enemy can do or whatever. Like it just, it's just another subdivision basically. This will be fine. Uh, I just added another, like an addition to a script reference that this pulls from itself from its parents. Now it's just also pulling a separate animator reference. Uh, yeah, okay. It's fifty percent of one, half of the other, because it's uh, functionally the same thing. Uh, it's just not referencing. It's not referencing the reference to the animator stored in the turret script. It's just got its own reference to this the same animator object on the same game object. Uh, sure. Sounds reasonable. Uh, again, nothing... The original way you had it set up was fine. There was nothing wrong with it. Uh, but since we're refactoring some of the stuff anyway... Uh, If that's the only thing standing in the way from making it, taking it public to making it protected in that other script, which it looks like it is, then I guess we might as well do it. Uh, okay, that looks all right. Um, it's just become finger painting central over here. I'll have you know. <laughs> Game. I'm the maddest I've ever been. Alright, let's just play this just for. Oh, right, because that enemy is in this scene. It's not supposed to be. Because I left it in here when I was looking at it. Uh, let's get rid of you. Now we'll go. Okay, so the goal here is basically that just for the most part, everything should be working as expected. The slight exception of the moving goops, because... Okay, yeah, that looks right. Those guys look like they're working as intended. Just kind of eyeballing me and shooting at stuff. Okay. Telephone distance is right around. I think it messed with that at some other point. All right, uh, let's go find a wall just to do it. All that other stuff looks like it's working right. The goops aren't quite working right, but that's not has nothing to do with what we're doing today. It's the test to do with other changes that I hadn't finished. Um, what did you do? Huh? What did you do? I just didn't finish the way they are like trigger and stuff yet. I think the giant goops you actually even don't have the right number of like colliders and stuff. That's one of the reasons they don't work right right now. Oh, that's right, because you were changing around the um yeah the opening trigger mm -hmm. volume. Okay, so that's all all right. Um. Get rid of this animator one now and all these other scripts. Uh, keeps hitting on my foot and it keeps falling asleep. Okay. Let's look specific. Let's 
stun, stun delay, wake up distance, idle distance. I think all this other stuff looks fine. Um, I think at least in terms of raw variables, we've pulled as much of it as we can out of these other scripts, which is, that's good. Is that what you say? start here too that can be referenced by the other ones that just set some of these shared variables to er, bleh, variables to default values Thing. On the note of Windows notifications, 
I swear to God, I have turned those the sound at the very least off on my laptop, and yet, without fail, every time during my stream, it goes off and is the loudest, most jarring <laughs> thing I've ever heard, and I hate it every time. That's funny. I know it's set to off, and yet... It does not care.
Phone's going nuts. That was. <clears throat> Isn't it nice that all those variables are public? Wow, it's incredible. I drew a beautiful picture, by the way. Mm. Dumb, dumb stuff saved in my images. second to change this. My beautiful image. It's pretty good. Just did all that with, with your finger and stuff. That's mm -hmm. pretty good. And also my approximation of colors. You, should, you should show it to the camera as tiny as it'll be in the... You'll have to help me. Me. Uh -huh. I'm I full here. screen this. You can put it in front of my, my faces. That'll be good. Uh, there. So nobody needs to see that. Yeah, there you go. You can make it out. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's pretty awesome. Um, Man, do I have some dumb stuff in my images. But it's fantastic. All right, one more other question about some of this other stuff. So there's, um, You have a distance checking function in all of these. 
and in the group one, it's just got, uh, there it is. It's got a distance to, and these other ones, it's got a distance from, where it's checking against its own transform or something. I'm not 100% sure what that's, that's the other value is. I mean, those are just variables in the vector two dot distance function. Uh, if you look down below, the distance to player is calculated by some unity function. It just spits out like, I'm assuming that's like a float or something. But why is this one? just this. Is it just older? Because the walls and the turrets work differently. Because they just have this other check and then they do a distance check between the two values. I think, well because it looks like the first vector is the x and y of one and then for whatever reason the enemy one is just a single one. Because if you see, it's those are two target positions. The second one is two um, transform positions. And if you go to the enemy controller, it's target position uh, transform or yeah, transform position, as opposed to two and from distance. I don't know why. Because this this one honestly just doesn't make as much. Oh no, because this is just a simplified. Yeah, they could all be this, because this is the position. It's not one of their variables. So this is just an x, y, z. Uh, this is already a vector 3. And on in here, you're like you're setting up two vector 2s and then passing them both. Unless there's like some reason you don't want the z. I don't know. And some of these for some reason. I don't know. I would guess that they probably should all be one way or another. I don't know. Um, it's not broke. Don't fix it. Well, I'm gonna do temporarily. No. <laughs> I'm gonna comment. I'm gonna just default them all to this one, I guess, for now. Maybe there's a reason they're vector twos, um, because y is not really a going concern in this two-dimensional game. Uh, so well, the y that. is a concern. The z is not. Or z. That's what I mean. Sorry. Uh, Careful. You've got. Some, or no, never mind. It's just the the call. I'm just gonna get all of these. Why? Oh, you're going to put it somewhere else? Yeah, I'm just going to put it in that base function. Uh... There you go. So you shouldn't be mad about that. It should be fine. I'm going to be honest about it. Uh, yeah, I would think we'll have to try that out, I guess, and see if there's any demonstrable difference, but I can't imagine. Like I said, if anything, this is more narrow than the other one. Uh, so if you don't want the, the Z value to factor in, uh, which I would guess probably wouldn't, uh, either wouldn't matter most of the time, or you definitely wouldn't want it, want it to affect your results, uh, that seems more accurate than doing it this way. Uh, possibly. Let's just run it once, see if it looks any different. Be pretty fucking hard to tell after just like playing it for 10 seconds, but it's better than doing nothing. Mm -hmm. These guys are working, and they're the ones that changed, so. They look like they're working. There are three warnings. Okay. Bottom one. It's all fine. For now. Top one is fine. I wonder if you just have the boss pipe in the first scene or something. I might. That's fine. All right, I'm gonna leave it that way for now. I guess I'll still leave them comment to that for now, also. Uh, I 
and then I've got at least uh, I'm starting not going to delete this out right, but I'm going to demote it to the bottom of this script. Just hide it off here to the side. Same thing with these other two. on for a tiny bit more uh, let's see how these look because again the uh, my hope is that these are ident currently all are basically identical and we'll just uh, no that's a little different oh right because it's not but again, that wall, the walls might just not have been updated for when we added the shields, either intentionally or unintentionally. Um, let me go. screen I'm trying to get there we go perfect okay I've got just some notepad plus plus I'll put up here so Amen. grab the one from enemy controller grab the one from turret script uh, those certainly look identical to me do you concur I'll move them over here. Nope, it's not. Where'd you go? So that's fine. And this one, I think the only difference is that it's missing the one type of droppable item which we had added later to the game, period. Those two are identical. But seeing that it doesn't have, I feel like that was intentional. That walls just don't drop shield. But do we care? I don't know. Because <laughs> the ammo was definitely added later. Not the shield. I think. No, that's not true. Because remember, the shields were generated by themselves much longer than they were regenerated by dro items dropping. Mm. That was the last thing we added out of, out of these three things that can drop from enemies currently. Mm. So this does built in a chance that they don't drop anything, which is fine. That is no, definitely yeah, intentional. Yeah, that's uh, absolutely intentional. I'm just dive on it right now. Um, Absolutely. Well, we can decide that later because we're definitely going to have to mess with the, this code a bunch anyway. So if we do want individual enemies to be able to drop or not drop certain types of items, uh, we can make a note of that and address it down the line. But for right now, just copying well this, here, copying this straight up will be fine. Oh, so she goes both down. Just going to drop this in here. Uh, and yeah, this is, this is going to change at some point, but it will live in this script, and it should be shared between them to some extent. Like, it'll be largely, largely the same. Um, so... Right, perfect. 
perfect. Um, a lot of this collision stuff we're gonna have to look over. Cause that's just gonna all change a lot too, honestly. I'm just looking for any other like super low hanging fruit. Um, let's, I'm assuming these all might have a check range function. Maybe. Yeah, they sure do. Oh, I went way below that. What is that? Oh, uh, what? That yellow, whatever. It's just only on this. I don't know. It's probably not good. It's only on this script, though. I wonder if I like um, deleted a bracket or something incorrectly. But it shouldn't have built successfully. Well, let's Google it. Let's grab some of these check ranges and see what they look like relative to each other. I'll just do the same thing. So we'll take the one from the enemy controller. The only thing uh -huh. is that they've got potentially slightly different. Um, and that's fine if they are. I think they're at least a little bit different. Um, if that is true, we can. Split the difference at least, maybe. Uh, stop it. Because they've got like different checks for when certain things. I mean, they just variable names aren't necessarily the biggest thing, but like there's just different. Mm -hmm. uh, like their animators have different functionality. Uh, I think leaving them is probably fine. Just out of curiosity, just for my own. Yeah, see, look at that. That function is already so much longer than the other ones. Just trying to see if there's any uh, sense in consolidating them at all. Maybe not. Because, like, the only one that can be stunned is. That one is that has rotation stuff that needs to. Unless going idle might be. There might not be as different there. Mm. I mean, you could check the going idle function, but I bet there, there's more in that for because that's the goops right there, the standard enemy. Oh, okay. You've all right, we'll just leave them for now. You got I'm not going to the wall about. one. Um, They've all got different things. I think. Check. I mean, check range is a very generic name, but it, they all do pretty different things. Uh, these might be identical. I'm guessing that's probably a good candidate. Yep. Okay, so that's a no-brainer. Grab you. Just make sure that function isn't that uh, variable's in here. Has alt weapons? Might not be, but I can move it. It's definitely not, because it's red, it's mad. Uh, it's just a bool. Defaults to false. Hmm. Where is it in here? Shut up. 
It might be in the percentage base. That should have been still available here. It here for some reason. Uh, and that is coming from the controller base. And I can just move it down one yeah. level. No. And that's the one. only called in like the start of these yeah. check for alt only start there I'm thinking that's the case based on what that function looks like it does perfect I need to get rid of it here too. Do you have a start function elsewhere? I have this thing. Mm -hmm. uh, since it's going to be called for all of them anyway. Um, that's what I did on a lot of the cucumber stuff too. No, I know. I remember that. Uh, so that's just going to go in here. Not, nope, nope, not in there. In here. Make sure you get rid of the functions in the wall and the in enemy because you didn't. Mm -hmm. You only did it in the. Um, yeah, the I want to say this probably doesn't even need to be protected at that point. Because we're getting rid of you. Because the variable itself is protected, so the function call doesn't need to be. Not that it would really hurt if it was, but. I'm physically hurt by it. You still need it. The wall still hasn't been done. Let's press this next. I mean, the oh, function is still in there. I guess. There it is. OK. So get rid of that comment, too. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else because I might just table the rest of this for now. Either go work on it in my own time or mess with it tomorrow or whatever. Um, is there anything else you can think of in here off the top of your head that is likely to be like a straight copy paste across these that we can easily just move out? Uh, Not uh, 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 I No, because the wall doesn't do that. Um, well, that's fine though because if it's. Um, right, just Because th that's literally just how he moves. Okay, when he's that's following fine. you, that's a very I'm just, unique I'm just function. looking for stuff that is like generically titled. No. Uh, these are all going to get readdressed, so well, I'm not yeah, necessarily we're... worried about that right now. It'll de this will definitely get moved out. Uh, I honestly think extent. you covered probably most of it. Okay. Unless I like literally poured through the entire script. No, that's fine. Um, all right. Well, in that case, maybe we'll call it here for tonight for the stream. Uh, we bad. did some work on this. Yeah. Got some of that shit consolidated again. The end goal here is to take. Um, Especially stuff like this, take damage and stuff like that to make those more formalized so that um, they basically are 
called more directly from like Marta and the projectile she shoots as opposed to being like uh I called on here when these these get their own mm -hmm. collisions and they'll take uh, more variables from there that'll do things like indicate the way drop rates should be modified or indicate the amount of da the way damage should change or whatever mm -hmm. uh but that'll be for maybe for another time maybe next week maybe wow. somewhere in between there so wow. until then I think wow. we'll call it a night thank you for thank you internet in general for Woo. Uh, hanging out while I silently <laughs> tap away at this keyboard for the most part uh we'll Again, probably be back a, next Thursday mm-hmm I'll probably be back next Thursday with more uh, Thursday next with 30. more of this. So until then, I'm gonna click this button on the stream, and we'll see you later. There it is. There's the button. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.